What do you notice about this meal? You probably notice there's quite a bit of carbohydrates here, very little protein. Well, my point in bringing this up today is that if you will allow either your carbohydrates or your proteins and fats to dominate a given meal, your body will absorb it better. I get asked, how can I eat one meal a day without a blood sugar spike? For those who have a little bit of trouble with blood sugar spike, there are two answers to this. One, it's very easy to beat a blood sugar spike and you won't have them for very long because your body will adjust to one meal a day and you'll have all of the benefits that I've talked about in all my other videos. If you are still worried about it, look at how I have this meal. And I picked this meal to show you as an example. That is potatoes with salt, pepper, butter, cayenne pepper, and turmeric, which by the way, turmeric is a great cooking spice. You should use it like you do salt and pepper if you can. I have a leftover bean and cheese taco, Spanish rice, and then I have the apples, I have the, the mandarin oranges, three cups of blueberries, and six or seven cookies at 160 calories a piece. So this is a decent amount of food. This is a day's calories for me. So I'm a six foot four male, so it's, it's about 29, 2800 calories. Now, notice how little meat is on this plate. Just a tiny bit of chili. Here's what you will find if you're worried about a blood sugar spike. And of course, we all feel them. I have a great pancreas, and even I feel them. So here's the way it works. If you'll have a meal that is 70 to 80 to, to 90% carb versus 70, 80 to 90% protein, you will find that your body makes the enzymes to digest them better each in their respective way. So there's nothing wrong with having a tiny bit of animal to flesh food with your meal, but you'll find that if you have very little, it will be absorbed much better. And I have had now years demonstrating this. I can have an all sugar day where I have mostly carbohydrates and less than 5% flesh food. Guess what? I feel like a rock star. All of this, I can just kick butt and take names, no end. Or I can say, hey, I want barbecue today. I can go out and have a predominant protein day and have nearly as good of results. But it's your body's ability to digest the, the, chemical, the chemicals in the food as they break down into their chemical components. That's what determines how much energy you have. Studies have demonstrated when you combine carbohydrates and proteins, there's conflict in your digestive tract. And that, of course, is why when you have things like beans, you tend to get gas because there's a natural conflict. But when you bring in flesh food, it's a different story because that's harder to digest with a lot of fruit sometimes. So you will not have to worry about blood sugar spikes, number one, because you're going to adjust just fine. But you, if you're diabetic, you're, and I've worked with many diabetics on my plan now, you're, with each meal, your blood sugar will go down a little bit as long as you're consistent. But two, like we said, if you will just focus on a, a natural day, a raw vegetable day versus something else, if you can just structure yourself that way, you'll find that you have a lot easier time absorbing your nutrients. You'll go throughout the day. You won't feel tired and sluggish after the meal. You'll feel great.